What is a Funko Pop? A Funko Pop is a 4-inch collectible made by the company Original Funko. Funko Pops come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. But why do people collect these figures and what impact has it had on people's lives? Before I answer this, let's go all the way back to the beginning. In 1998, Mike Becker made the very first bobblehead vinyl figure. It was based off of the character Big Boy. Things were a bit rough at the start, but eventually there was a high demand for these figures. In 2005, Mike sold the company to Brian Mariotti, and this is when Funko really took off. Brian Mariotti produced the very first Funko Pop, and it's quite the comparison to the figures we have today. The Funko community is huge, to say the least. Up to thousands of people gather at events such as Comic Cons and toy shows to purchase their favorite Funko Pops. The community has had a huge impact on the success of the company. There is a Funko Pop for just about everything. Movies, TV shows, video games, you name it. There is definitely something for everyone, and that is the joy of collecting these figures. I collect figures from my favorite franchises such as horror and Marvel. Funko Pops can be pretty addicting, so I can see why people have thousands in their collections. People collect these figures for many different reasons. For myself, I discovered Funko Pops when I had nothing else to turn to. One day, I stumbled across a YouTuber by the name of Top Pops. At first, I didn't really understand the hype around these 4-inch collectibles, but after a while they started to grow on me. The first Funko Pop I picked up for my collection was the 60s Riddler Chase from the classic Batman series. But I have always wondered why do other people collect Funko Pops? I have set out to interview a few fellow collectors in hopes to hear their story on why they collect Funko Pops and how it's changed their lives. I begin with my friend Gavin from Mount Forest, Ontario. Uh, my name is Gavin, I'm 18 and I've been collecting for 6 years. My story on how I started collecting Funko Pops is uh, my friend, back in 2016, he, uh, it was my birthday, he bought me uh, Bedtime Deadpool. Uh, and uh, after that, I started buying them myself. First one I bought myself was, it was Dwight Schrute from The Office. Got it off Amazon. I really enjoy collecting Funko Pops. I like, uh, I like being able to have all my favorite characters and display them and I have them organized in my, uh, each fandom. And, I don't know, it's just satisfying seeing the, the collection grow. Uh, my favorite thing about the Funko community is probably people. Everyone's helping each other, you know, telling you where to shop, where the best spots are, you know, um, showing off their collections. And uh, What I really don't like about the Funko community is uh, the scalpers. I mean, people who uh, will buy you know, 40 or more of a character and sell them on eBay or whatever, mark it up crazy amounts because uh, it's hard to find, especially being in Canada. I mean, we already have limited places to shop compared to the U.S. And then on top of that, people buying them and flipping them. That's really your only option for certain characters. Funko Pops have definitely changed my life. I mean, I walk into my room and, you know, it puts a smile on my face, see my collection. You know, I like re reorganizing them and I think it's made me a happier person. Overall, Gavin's experience collecting Funko Pops has been very positive and it's had a huge influence on his life. I am very interested in hearing the thoughts of my next subject. His name is Corbin Peter and he's a bit of an outsider when it comes to Funko Pops. My name is Corbin Peter, I am currently 22 years of age, and I've been collecting Funko Pops probably for the past 7 or so years. Uh, I can't nail down the exact date or year, uh, but certainly 2016 is when it all began, so about seven years ago. I, I have a good story about how I started collecting Funko Pops. Um, uh, my good friend Patrick, uh, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, he, he got into Funko Pops first. Uh, we both were into comic books, and when you're in the comic book uh, community, you're very close to the Funko Pop community. and. Uh, we uh, we would go shopping all the time, and I know he was interested in Funko Pops, and uh, we have similar birth dates. So uh, for our birthday gift swap one year, uh, we were at a cafe, and he gave me uh, actually it's right here the Reverse Flash Funko Pop uh, from the TV show uh, that we both really loved, 
And I remember getting that for the first time and not knowing exactly what it was. I wasn't very into the Funko Pop community at that point. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was a statue, if it was an action figure, but I just remember really liking it and really uh, making it, having it click for me that, you know, Funko Pops are something you, anyone can collect. I enjoy collecting Funko Pops uh, for a lot of reasons, but the main one I think is just the variety and the accessibility of Funko Pops. Uh, as a company and as a, as a product, I think it is so universal where anyone can get into Funko Pops. Uh, you know, someone like myself, I have an interest in uh, sports, comic books, and movies. And as you can see in my collection, that those Funko Pops represent that. Um, so the fact that you can have such varying interests and varying hobbies and varying uh, likes and dislikes, uh, and Funko Pop has a Funko for that, I think is incredible. Anyone in the world, anywhere in the world, can have a Funko Pop that is like perfect for what they want. My favorite thing about the Funko community is most definitely their kindness and openness to anyone in the community or outside of the community. When I ask at a convention, what is a grail to someone who's selling Funko Pops, they're always more than happy to tell me. And whenever I ask my friend, you know, Patrick, I ask him, you know, what what does a, a chase mean? He, you know, for the fifth time I've asked him, he's more than happy to explain it. There's one thing, but it's more general. It's not a, a knock on uh, Funko Pop community as a whole. It's certainly more so a few individuals, but it also is found anywhere else you look in any other community. So it's not just singular to the Funko community. Um, and that is when people who are uh, want to be gatekeepers to the community and they want to tell you how you should be collecting Funko Pops. Um, you know, as you can see, I don't keep the boxes and in the Funko Pop community, it's kind of a, a big deal for collectors to want to keep the boxes and keep the, the pops pristine and protected. Uh, and most people, they don't care what you do. You know, they care about their collection, but they let you do what you do, which is the majority of the community. And there's those, as I said, those select few that are those kind of gatekeepers, uh, who just draw negative energy, uh, sometimes and, uh, they tell you how you should be collecting it. So whether it's, you know, you know, you open it up at a convention right away after you buy it and someone says something offhand, uh, or, you know, you see people in comment sections on YouTube channels within the community and it's more just toxic behavior. I certainly would say that Funko Pops have helped change my life. And I say that because um, it's given me a strong, stronger connection to my best friend. Uh, Patrick, he's the one who got me into this crazy mess uh, of uh, the Funko world and it's uh, been a great mess of an adventure ever since where, uh, as I said, I think it brings us closer together and it's uh, moments that, you know, are highlights of our friendship, you know, whether it's going to conventions and, you know, searching for certain pops or getting certain pops signed or that's, you know, just going out on an average afternoon and having a blast because we come across a store that has a Funko Pop. My two best friends have had very positive experiences to share about Funko Pop collecting. But there's still this sense of uneasiness in the Funko community. Scalpers are out there, buying Funko Pops then turning around and selling them for two to three times their retail price. It certainly makes it difficult for Funko Pop collectors. Luckily, most of this can be overlooked. There are so many amazing things about the Funko community. The Funko Pops themselves that symbolize the love that we have for these franchises. The community, who is always open to welcoming new members. And last but not least, the people, who are the most kind and genuine people I have ever met in my lifetime. The Funko industry will continue to thrive as long as there are wonderful collectors behind it.